frustrations and anger presented at tonight's city commission meeting didn't start there. Of course, mm -hmm. the people involved marched there as well. Let's get right out to our Marisa Oberly live downtown with a look at that story. Marisa. Yeah, Janice and Josh, ahead of that rally, uh, Grand Rapids police actually put up these concrete barriers in this fence in case of any unrest, but there ended up being no need for it because protesters marched throughout the city without any uh, issues arising. They instead just continued to preach that message of justice and accountability. Protesters in Grand Rapids bring change like this isn't OK. We can't keep doing this. Took their message to City Hall on Tuesday. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! With each chant, sign and step, they try to let commissioners during their biweekly meeting <laughs> and the people that they passed on their way to 300 Monroe Avenue know their thoughts in the wake of Patrick Leoya's death. The 26 year old Congolese immigrant shot and killed by a Grand Rapids police officer last week. And we have been telling them that if they don't if they don't hold the GRPD accountable for their violence towards community members, excuse me, then they're going to end up killing someone. Allie, who asked us not to use her last name, organized.